good morning big day for us we've been planning this trip for a long time um, but I have to say every time we plan a trip some natural disaster happens <laughs> usually a new um, round of the virus happens flood. or a flood mm -hmm. and yeah we planned this and of course a new round of variety of virus came and but we're still gonna go anyways uh, so today's a very interesting drive because it's not so easy here in Thailand, um, you're supposed to avoid the motorways if you're driving a motorcycle. It doesn't matter mm -hmm. how fast you can go. So we're trying to plan a zigzag route um, okay. somewhere south, the southern part of Bangkok, because uh, we also aren't allowed to use that bridge that we would have to use mm -hmm. because they don't allow cars on it as of a couple of years ago. I mean, motorcycles as mm -hmm. of a couple mm -hmm. of years ago. Mm -hmm. So we've got to take a little ferry just to get across the river. So what should be a two and a half hour ride is probably going to be more like three, three and a half hours. You're so excited. I am excited. So we're on our way to um, Sriracha, which is just outside of Pattaya. Mm -hmm. And that's going to, uh, we think, maybe six hours. And then um, tomorrow morning we head to... The ferry at Satahib. The ferry at Satahib. Mm -hmm. um, and that's going to take us all the way down to Songkla, where okay. we're spending three days there. And then we'll slowly make our way back north. Uh, to Cha'am. We don't know mm. how long this vacation is going to happen. Okay. okay, so so I think I summarized everything. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Nothing you did from you? Good. No, oh, I'm okay. fine. I'm All fine. Right. Okay, see you. to the ferry and it is 1046 with about a half an hour stop uh, we left at 745 so three hours maybe two and a half hours not bad time so there's the bridge right over there that they don't allow you to to ride on anymore finally arrived and uh, we're at our hotel at uh, 2 p.m. Um, that's probably going to be the hardest drive of our trip. The rest of them will be shorter and easier, easier roads. So uh, I'm looking forward to the uh, to the rest of the trip. Looking forward to the, the ferry tomorrow. I'll show you our hotel. We've already unpacked some stuff. Mm -hmm. There it is and this is called the uh, rest Porest of uh, P O R E S T V A in uh, Siracha. And it's just your basic room. 
but it's clean and uh, I'm uh, happy we're here. Well, made it to the ferry and it's 20 more minutes before 12 mm -hmm. and uh, it's supposed to leave at 2 but they always leave earlier if uh, if everybody who's booked is aboard so they're supposed to be boarding at 12 we just gotta wait uh, until then I'll just show you the ferry from here see of course ferries and the name of the ferry is the Blue Dolphin this will actually be my second time aboard I took it the other direction with a, a friend Andy um, I guess about a month ago now and I'm uh, looking forward to doing this with you yay you're cuter than Andy <laughs> really yeah okay there's gonna be a ton of gold wings coming in that we saw but they don't seem to be here yet so we have my little bike KLR over there a bunch of gold wings coming and we have this true adventure. So there's another check-in step here. This is the same escalator we take down later. They just reverse the direction. Yeah, there's only one escalator. There's two decks for uh, for vehicles. This is our home for the next 24 hours or so. Okay. And I have no problem with these uh, pods, but uh, can you breathe? <laughs> it's, it's really hard for me. <laughs> I think you have a little bit of claustrophobia. Yeah, it's yeah. tiny. Yeah. It's really tiny for me. It's pretty good. Um, that that bag won't be there, but there's a light. Yeah. Oh, I guess it's still Christmas here. <laughs> Okay, so you want to go up? So you back, see back there, down that little hallway is the rooms. So we boarded it, got our gear stored away. Um, I got a key for a locker, you can ask one for one. Um, store some uh, extra stuff, not leaving it in the, uh, in the pod. And just relaxing. We ordered at 12, it's supposed to take off at 2. One thing to say to people is uh, make sure you bring cash. You can get coupons at the uh, at the check-in counter downstairs uh, in order to get your meal. And they have a lot of vending machines as well, but you need uh, you need some cash for that. And, the, and, the, and the, the machines are in Japanese? Yeah. Okay. So you have to guess. Hmm. <laughs> English doesn't help. No. Not time either. No. no. Well, I have to say life is good. We met a fellow biker from Germany here and while, while you were down in the pod trying to take a nap, he left me half a bottle of wine. He didn't want to take it with him and I volunteered. No, he, he asked me but I, volu I accepted the offer <laughs> and I had to go buy a glass. It cost me five baht. 
So I'm going to enjoy enjoy the wine. You're going to hear it behind us. When I was here with Andy, it was nowhere. There was like nobody up here. Now it's full house. Now it's full house in, in, in the kitchen, in the kitchen, in the in the dining room, and they're quite happy. And they're buying beer over here at the coffee shop. And I think the only reason they're buying it is they must have finished what they brought on board, which is cool, coolers full. So they're having a good time. If you walk by, if you walk by the counter in front of the fridge, you will see that the recycle bin already full with the beer. Yeah, yeah. And and they're from our neighbor, our neighborhood. They're from Hua Hin. Yeah. Yeah. So we're rep representing Thailand here. You can see land ahead and a little bit of the coastline, the side over here. Well, we have arrived at the BP Samilla. And here is our hotel. We just got off the ferry. I'm going to have a cup of coffee and then we're going to walk on the boardwalk or beach road to uh, get something to eat. It's uh, 10 after 1. And here's our view.